When the topic of best first person shooter games of all time comes up, the one game that you'll see mentioned in almost all of them is Fear. First Encounter Assault Recon. It was one of the must play PC games before it was ported to consoles. Released in 2005 and developed by the late Monolith Productions, it was groundbreaking in both gameplay and graphical fidelity. But over the years, the age of the PC version started to show. If the game runs at too high of a frame rate, it can break some physics, and after a while, it can become a slideshow. This and other issues make it a bit rough to play without fixes. A lot of people don't know where to start, and over time, better mods and fixes come up. Fear is a great example where I had a script written and ready to go, and a new mod pack comes out that changes everything and makes it more streamlined. That being Echo Patch by Wimion. It includes everything you needed to mod it before, but all in one package now. With this whole introduction done, hello everyone and welcome to my definitive mod guide for Fear. But before we get started, we will need a few things. First thing, make sure you have the game installed. This can be either the GOG version or the Steam version. The GOG version has one additional step you need to do. Other than that, the method is the same. You shouldn't need a zip program to extract it, but if the default one is not working, download 7-zip. After you got everything all ready, visit the Echo Patch GitHub link below and download the echopatch.zip file. It's a pretty small file, so it won't take too long. The Echo Patch has so many fixes it's crazy, and it is the best way to play the game in 2025. It has font scaling and high resolutions, fixed physics at high frame rates, X input controller support, high resolutions, and so many fixes. One last thing before we move on to the installation, if you are planning to use a PlayStation or a Switch controller, you need to download a program that converts it to X input. The best one that I use is DS4 for Windows. That and everything else will be linked below in the description. Installation of the Echo Patch is really simple and straightforward. I would recommend dragging it to your desktop for this. After you do that, you will want to find where your game is installed. One of the quickest ways to do this is if you're on Steam, right click the game, scroll down to Manage, then Browse Local Files. For GOG, it's almost the same. You click the button right next to Play on GOG Galaxy, then Manage Installation. After that, show folder. When you have the folder open, open the echopatch.zip, then drag and drop the contents into your fear game folder. For Steam users, that's all you need to do for now. If you're using GOG, there is one more thing you gotta do. In the fear folder for your GOG copy of the game, there should be a file called dxwrapper.ini. Open it up in Notepad, press Ctrl F on your keyboard, and search for limit per you should find something called limit per frame FPS, and it's set to 60. Just change that to zero, go up and click file, and then save. Now you can boot up the game. On first boot, it will say 4GB slash large address patch is missing, and it will ask if you want to apply. Hit yes, and you are all done. You will now be able to play the game with all the fixes from the echo patch. If you want to change any of the settings for the echo patch, you can do so within the echopatch.ini in your game directory. It's really simple, all you gotta do is change a 0 to the 1 or vice versa for most things. But everything works out of the box, I wouldn't recommend it unless you want to be a little bit more advanced with it. Alright everyone, thanks for watching! If you need any help with anything or want to suggest a game I cover on this series, you can do so down below. I want to give a huge thank out to the creator of the patch, Wemio, and also to my channel members. You can become a member for $3 a month to show your support to the channel. You get perks from my live streams and such, and you should stop by sometime. We have a lot of fun over there. With that all said, thank you all for watching and for all your support, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.